Good morning and welcome to another Monday edition of Strength and Mobility with me, Andy, the health and fitness specialist over in Bedford. We're going to get right into it, just trying to start the week off strong with our head-to-toe full body stretch. We're going to start with our neck, so uh, chin's tucked, and we're rolling the neck to one side. And switch directions. And we're going to grab the opposite side and pull towards the arm side. Hold this position for about 10 seconds. <clears throat> All right, and switch sides. All right, when I'm across. And switch. All right, next we'll get into a lunge position down on the mat. Switch your legs. Next, we're down on our back, <clears throat> going knee to the chest. And switch legs. And now we'll get into a butterfly. And finish it off with some back extensions. Alrighty, let's get a quick 30 second jog in place, get the blood pumping, and then we will get into circuit one, which this week is shoulder press, uh, standing oblique crunch, and RDLs. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take this time to make sure that you have everything you'll need. I always recommend having water nearby. And if anything is a little tight, still from over the weekend, get a quick stretch of that and we'll start in about 20 seconds. Whew. 
Ooh, that's cold. got shoulder press to start. This can be done standing, seated, or kneeling. I'm going to do mine seated today. And we just start up nice and straight. Dumbbells up on the side of our head and press straight up. We got 10 of these. Next, we got standing oblique crunch. Starting nice and tall. Hands by our head. We're going to bring our opposite elbow to our opposite knee. Like that. Next we have RDOs, start off, <clears throat> excuse me, palms facing uh, down, dumbbells by our hips, slight bend in the knee, hinge in the hips, and we trace the legs down to about halfway down our shin, and then we drive the hips forward, trace the legs, drive the hips forward, and we got 10 of these. We also want to keep a neutral spine. We don't want to be all hunched over, putting any extra strenuous on our upper or lower back. Right, take 20 seconds and we'll get into round two, second one. <clears throat> All right. Here we go, round two, shoulder press. Standing oblique crunch. RDOs. Another 20 seconds, and we'll finish off circuit one.
Alrighty, here we go, last set, shoulder press. Standing up, Lee Crunch. <clears throat> and our last set of RDLs. <clears throat> Take about 30 seconds in between circuit one and circuit two. And we're going to get into our mobility based circuit where we have half kneeling arm rotations, which is a new one, and then we have cat cows and leg lifts. Excuse me, a little frog in my throat this morning. Alrighty, <clears throat> next we're gonna be down on the mat in a half kneeling position. Starting with both arms out in front of us, palms together. And we're going to rotate the side that your knee is on. You're rotating that same, or the knee that is out, same arm is going back. We're doing 10 per side. There we go, switch sides for another 10. This hip, my left hip is tighter because I have a hard time keeping it in place. All right, from there we have cat cows, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, coming with our head up, back straight as we drop our chin towards our chest. Our spine comes straight up, a little bit of breathe, and as the back comes down, the head comes back up. One more. All right, and we 
three dot leg lifts for 10. Legs out straight, arms by your side. Lift the legs to about a 45 degree angle. Drop them down to just above the floor and back up. Whew. All right, 20 seconds, and we're gonna round two, circuit two. Here we go. <clears throat> half kneeling, one arm, or half kneeling arm rotations. Ten per side. Right in the cat cows. One more. All right, here we go, leg like lifts. Alrighty, 20 seconds, and then we'll finish up circuit two. Half kneeling arm rotations. I 
answered sides. Alrighty, take about 30 seconds and we'll get into circuit three where we have, uh, what do we have? Close grip, chest press, shoulder shrugs, and wrist and forearm curls. down on the mat for close grip chest press. The only thing that changes from regular chest press is where we hold the dumbbells, which is just center line <clears throat> right over our chest, dumbbells together. And we're going to just press from this position. Just working a different portion of your pectoral muscles. Also get the triceps involved a little bit more. All right. So here we get into shoulder shrugs. Standing nice and tall, nice sturdy base. Dumbbells neutral at your side, and we bring the shoulders up to our earlobes. Alrighty, next I suggest dropping down slightly in weight for this next exercise if possible. Um, if you only have kind of one set of dumbbells, maybe lessen the amount of reps you do. That's also fine. Just don't want to overdo or strenuate yourself or you could potentially injure yourself. Uh, these are just one of those ones where a lot of the weight is, uh, you know, the force is being put onto one hinge of your body, this being the wrist, which isn't always the strongest. So we go down the weight a little bit. If you remember from a couple of weeks ago where we, when we were doing these, we sit up nice and tall. Our forearms rest on our legs with about four inches down from the wrist hanging over. And we are just going to curl our wrists in this position with palms up. We'll do eight that way. Then we're gonna turn our wrists palm down and eight this way. When you're going palms up, you should feel a nice workout of the upper forearm or inner forearm, I should say. And when your wrists are palm down, the outer forearm should be getting a good workout. All right, that's going to do it for round one of circuit three. Take about 20 seconds and we will get into round two. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. I know here on the East Coast, Saturday was kind of dreary. Sunday was nice. Hope you got to spend some time outside doing some kind of activity, moving around. All right, here we go. Down on the mat for our second round of close grip chest press. Now we bend those together. And we press from here. Right into 
shoulder shrugs. And our wrist and forearm curls. Already 20 seconds, and then we will finish off circuit three into our final circuit of the day. All right, here we go. Last set of chest press, close grip. Last set of shoulder shrugs. And our last set of wrist and forearm curls. All right, take about 30 seconds in between circuit three and four. Our final circuit, circuit four, consists of tricep extensions, single leg deadlift, knee drive, and dumbbell curls to finish us off. I was feeling a little bit stronger, more mobile, and then kind of than we did maybe command of the weekend, hopefully, to attack our Monday morning and the rest of the week until we have another session on Friday. Right, here we go, tricep extensions can be done standing, seated, or kneeling. Just wanna make sure that you keep nice and upright, dumbbell inverted, and we extend from there, squeezing our triceps at the top of the rep. Then we got single leg deadlift and knee drive. One foot out, opposite arm reaches. And then we drive the knee forward.
And we got dumbbell curls. All right, 20 seconds. We'll get into round two. Here we go. Second round, tricep extensions. Single leg deadlift. And curls. <clears throat> Alrighty, last twenty second break before we finish off circuit four. Complete strength and mobility for Monday morning. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Last set, try some extensions. Single leg deadlift, knee drive. And dumbbell curls, a shade. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, that is gonna do it for strength and mobility on your Monday morning. Take a couple seconds and we'll get into a full body stretch. Set us off on our Monday. Hi, buddy.
All righty, here we go. Starting our far quick cool down. We're gonna start seated, standing nice and tall. And we're just going to reach and stretch above our head. Feel a pull on your back and shoulders. And to one side. Over to the other side. Down on the mat. Got our figure four stretch. Backs. Knee to the chest. And switch. Finish off with some back extensions. I see. I know, buddy. Give me a minute. Here we go, that's the finish for, or that is the end of strength and mobility on your Monday morning. Hope you're feeling like you started off your week the right way. Get outside, this week is supposed to be nice. Take a friend, go for a walk, have your lunch break, what have you. Um, our 5K is fast approaching. I think we are two weeks out at this point, right? Yeah, because think might even be less than that like a week and a half um regardless if you still want to sign up the uh registration is still open if you have already signed up keep a lookout for uh updates coming throughout the next week uh we would love we're up over 100 participants between the two locations and the virtual component uh we'd love to see more um and yeah if you have any questions regarding health or fitness or anything for that matter feel free to reach out to myself Andy in Bedford or Jenna in Bedford and also utilize Jess over in McLean. Any of us would be happy to help you with anything that we're able to or point you in the right direction. With that, enjoy the rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'll see you Friday for Strength and Mobility.